So what do you think makes a really good relationship? Uh, you and me? <laughs> uh huh. I think what makes a really good relationship is people who are really happy in themselves already. That's definitely what I feel like I needed to work on before I met you. Yes, really good. Yes, this is definitely necessary. I think it's very important to, uh, to do some personal work so that uh, we don't depend on the other person to be happy. Yeah. We find our own inner happiness. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because if we don't do that, if the other person provides the happiness and the peace, the day they don't do it because they might be in a bad mood or maybe something else is going on for them, we might feel betrayed. Mm, that's interesting. And we might feel that our trust is broken. Yeah. And then become resentful. Yeah. And needy. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, neediness is not that great. But I think that I think that it's important to to work on yourself. Um, you know, to to develop yourself. But I think it's also important to be with someone who you are really aligned with. You know, um, someone who you share values with, who you share goals with who you share life vision with. Um. <laughs> um, because being fulfilled as a soul and pursuing your soul mission and pursuing your joy is so much of what makes a happy life if um, you're not, you know, really living the life of your dreams or moving toward the life of your dreams, then life can become pretty dull. And then you do depend on your partner or unconsciously you might depend on your relationship to give you joy. And in addition, I feel like something I've been thinking about is that when, um, like the reason why so many couples in today's age like we hear about so many people getting divorced and stuff like that is because they don't spend time together and they spend so much time doing work and st in stress and in fear and in survival but and then they have like maybe what like one or two or three weeks out of the year where they go on vacation or you know, watch a movie or something. Um, but, you know, Zavi and I spend so much time together, don't we, babe? We love it. Yeah. We love being outside. We love connecting to nature. Beautiful flower. We travel um, the world and part of what allows us to do that is that we're living um, in alignment with our soul's purpose. So we have had the calling to teach and share our wisdom and who we are with the world and um, the universe supports us. And so we are able to be in really beautiful places and just garden and swim. And oh my God, it looks like there was a rainbow behind you. <laughs> and yeah, I think that is also really important for uh, a healthy, thriving relationship is basically the thriving, happy people. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel that uh, what is really important is that our passion is to travel and go in beautiful places, but uh, it's working for us because we are in love. And when we're in love, the universe opens itself. 
to our project. So whatever project we would have, if we didn't, let's say we didn't love traveling, we love being at home and just doing gardening, we would have a blissful life and a very successful being at home gardening because we cultivate our relationship and we cultivate the love and love is the language of the universe, so the universe supports it. So basically, whatever project we have, if we have a successful relationship, uh, it will very likely be supported by the universe if the universe uh, feels our love and our deep connection with, uh, with nature. Mmm, aho. Yeah, being in a high vibration is definitely one of our main practices and that's exactly what it is. It's a practice. It's something that you have to train your mind and body to achieve is to be happy, to feel joy, to be in a state of celebration and ease and relaxation and receptivity and pleasure and laughter and beauty and gratitude and appreciation. These are high vibe emotions that typically we're not trained to feel. In fact, I feel like the majority of us have been trained actually to feel bad emotions or I don't want to say bad emotions but more challenging emotions and more dense low vibe emotions um, like stress and fear and our tr our true state of being the truth of who we are is bliss is creative expression is joy the joy of being alive is is our aliveness and when we come in nature, when we are in nature, and when we're with, we're with people that we love and adore, I think it's a lot easier to access access that. And that's that's one of the reasons we, I, I advocate for relationships. Of course, some people are in a stage where they just need to do focus on self-development and self-love and self-care and understanding the self. Um, but I see, you know, the new world as a world where people live together, where people live in harmony and in love and in romance. And, you know, Xavier and I have been together for uh, a few years now, and we have not left what's called the honeymoon phase. We don't believe that that phase has to ever end. Like we truly believe that we can live in bliss and joy. And that doesn't mean that we don't ever experience like difficult feelings or challenging experiences. Of course, that is part of the human life cycle. We have to experience challenges and setbacks and obstacles so that we can grow. And that's actually part of the, the rainbow of life. Yes. Yeah. I believe the honeymoon phase is, uh, is something that comes very easily when we are at the beginning of a relationship. And uh, we can keep it going and we can cultivate it. And this is what we want, this is what we choose. And it requires cultivating like a, like a garden. Like a gardener will cultivate the garden and remove the weed. Uh, we remove shadows, we go and hunt shadows and remove them and look at them and say, hey, this doesn't belong into the container of our relationship. This behavior, this learned behavior, this subconscious behavior does not belong here. It's not welcome. So um, we also cultivate what needs there, like the fertilizer and like the compost that, uh, that plants need to grow well. Like we actually cultivate uh, constantly new skills and um, new techniques and new practices uh, that we do uh, so that we can cultivate our honeymoon forever phase. Mm, yes! Another thing that I think makes our relationship um, successful is that, like I said, um, you know, challenging experiences, obstacles, challenging emotions are part of the human life cycle. They're part of the rainbow of life. 
And so many of us are taught and have been conditioned to ignore um, or deny or suppress our emotions, our grief, our hurt, our rage, our anger, as well as our sexuality. And we have practiced and studied over the years how to reintegrate these natural expressions, these natural um, energies back into our life as something that's normal, as something that is not shameful. That's something that we can actually channel and transmute and alchemize um, so that it doesn't sabotage our experience anymore from the shadows, but that we're actually consciously um, working with our emotions when they come. And so like when I'm having a challenging day or something comes up, um, I, it's like we, it's like we embrace, the, it's like I'm not pretending that it's not there <laughs> and Xavier can kind of like laugh about it at me, like he can kind of laugh at it because it's normal and he can like kind of be lighthearted about it rather than um, kind of like shaming each other and pretending that we don't have emotions and trying to like play games on each other. Like we don't do that, me and Xavier. We don't play games on each other. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're so, so happy together is that we can be a hundred percent who we are, whether that's um, angry sad acting like a tiny baby who's just like didn't have like what she wanted when um, she needed to be nourished and we can play out those parts of ourselves with love and with presence and consciousness until they dissolve back into consciousness until they dissolve back where they came from and we can come back to our true state of being um, which is perfect peace and um, and love Um, and maybe sexuality, maybe you could talk about sexuality because I feel like that's one of the most important pieces here that so many people um, like don't know how to handle that. <laughs> well, it's the same as our relationship. Sexuality at the beginning of the relationship, it's like our animals and our instincts and the pheromones are doing all the work. So sexuality is amazing at the beginning of a relationship because it's, uh, it's Can we natural. go into the sun? Sorry, babe. This way? Yeah, just because, you know, I want to have the light. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's also getting dark. <laughs> okay, but tell us. So at the beginning of a relationship, there's like lots of pheromones and things are happening sexually. And it's very easy. And uh, as we go, the, those easy pieces um, needs to be replaced by pieces that we cultivate mm. uh, to feed all our chakras. So it's not mm. just the animal chakra and the basic and the, um, the pheromones that are doing the subconscious work for us. Uh, we can actually feed those pheromones and we can actually feed them with our heart and with our voice and with our visions and our spirit and basically with our whole body. But uh, this requires uh, cultivating and mm. practicing. Totally. So this is uh, imagining that it will all be coming by itself um, often turns into a disillusion. And uh, that's why uh, sometimes there is a tendency to go and find a new partner and a new partner and a new partner because we know we are supposed to have an amazing sexual life. Uh, but because we don't know how to do it, we stay on chapter one and then when chapter one is finished, we just go and open a new book because, right. because that's all we know. But uh, there are actually a lot of beautiful chapters in the book. We just have to write the book. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the way you said that, babe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think being aware of our... Ooh, wow, that's epic. <sighs> mm, so nice. Thank you. Wow. Being aware of our being masterful 
with our sexual energy and our relationship with our body uh, and our emotions and learning how to easily access different parts of yourself and empower different types of expressions in yourself and decondition the ourselves from the belief that we have to be a certain way um, is really helpful in a relationship like for example you know I feel like especially as a woman I learned that I learned like to be hypersexual and that I was really only worthy or valuable if I was having sex or if I was yeah like super or like super in the the peak of my sexual turn on or something and that's just not true and in a healthy relationship you learn to ride the waves of of life together and to celebrate every season um, no matter what it is and I also think that what makes life so fun with Yuzov is that we are free in our sexuality we are we spend most of our time in the nude <laughs> just because it's the it's comfortable for us and it feels amazing and we are we are confident about our sexuality and that's something that I when I was manifesting Xavier um, I was manifesting a partner I said I want to be with someone who is sexually conscious and sexually aware who has mastered his sexuality and has mastered his sexual energy and isn't just like like who is not just here for the sex and at the same time knows how to have a really great time sexually um, supporting my feminine holding space for my feminine and um, able to express so many different parts of himself confidently in that way and yeah I just wanted to touch I think it's important that we touched on that topic just because sex is such a taboo in our society yet so many of us are waking up and seeing like wow like I'm really missing out on this part of myself because our sexuality isn't just about what happens with other people in the bedroom it's also about our self-expression in the world and our creative life force energy and our worthiness and our joy and our pleasure which is the energy that really is at the core of our life i think i'm complete for now what about you baby that's perfect thank you <laughs> so that's our li those are some of our tips for how to live an amazing blissful relationship there's a lot more tips and there's a lot more where that came from a lot more so let's stay connected and we send you so much love